Hey there, Shooby Doodlers. How are you doing? Well, this is uh, what I'm going to be drawing today, uh, but I'm really talking about attention spans. If you're still watching, then congratulations, you're doing better than most uh, YouTubers. In fact, we're just about coming up to 15 seconds. In fact, we are 15 seconds. Most YouTubers will have clicked away by now because their attention just flits from here to there and they just can't cope with reality. I'm not having a lot of luck with this video um, because um, I was really paying attention to the drawing. <laughs> so I wasn't paying attention to everything else. And you cannot really multitask in this life. And uh, when I'm doing these videos, I've got lights and cameras and all sorts of stuff going on. And, and I think I'm recording and I find my little uh, Elgato Stream Deck, which allows me to um, switch cameras and all that kind of thing just put this funny little button on there and I have pressed it by mistake and muted the microphone. I didn't know that had happened. So anyway, I didn't record uh, <laughs> what I was saying while I did all the drawing. I was talking about paying attention. And that's something that we find really difficult to do these days. So much so that I had to say, <laughs> I'm talking about paying attention three times because I couldn't remember the word attention. <laughs> Why can't I do that? It's the internet. And um, we are just addicted to our phones and we're addicted to swiping and texting and tweeting and emailing and bing, bing, bing. That's what we want. We want to hear those bings and we want to hear people go, hey, that's really cool. I love your latest post. Like I'm going to want you to say, hey, I love this latest video down in the comments box below. <laughs> like I want you to uh, click that button and subscribe. You see, I'm falling for it. It's, it's a game. It's a game. And I'm a YouTube creator and uh, you're being gamed as a YouTube viewer and I'm being gamed as a YouTube creator and the secret is to try and do your best not to be <laughs> gamed by YouTube but to use YouTube as a tool and, uh, and there are times I think I, oh, I'm going to give up YouTube and I think no but I, I, I'm on a mission I really want people to learn to draw and YouTube is a great way to do that um, and the thing is to do it my way and not their way. <laughs> so so <laughs> I know YouTube would love me uh, to make my videos in a completely different way uh, that will make you hang on my every breath and stay to the end of the video. Are you, in fact, even still watching? Probably not. And you see, most people, they just haven't got the attention span anymore because they're so used to flicking, 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 flicking. Um, and I know I've been to uh, YouTube training sessions up at YouTube in London and, and they sort of say, you know, so, so how much YouTube do you watch? And I go, well, I don't. <laughs> They're appalled. And, and of course, as far as YouTube is concerned, I'm meant to be watching everybody else. Uh, every other how to draw kind of person and see how they do it and you know analyze the statistics and the data and uh, so that I can <laughs> make you watch even longer and longer and longer because that's what YouTube want they just want your eyeballs sitting there watching advertisers the, the, the YouTube doesn't really care about the drawing all they care about is that you're a, a kind of person who likes drawing um, and you might buy whatever it is, all the advertising that is around. And of course, I'm quite pleased with that because then if you <laughs> if you watch the adverts, I get paid. <laughs> it's it's a deal with the devil, isn't it? Um, but uh, if if you really want to learn to draw, and this is what I get, I get people saying, I, you know, how do I get better at drawing? The, the thing is, you pack your phone up and you shove it in the bin and let the, let the trash people come and take it away. <laughs> forget the phone, forget the... Well, you can't forget the internet because then you wouldn't be able to watch YouTube, would you? It's, it's, it's such a dilemma. Um, but certainly put your phone away. Um, switch the sound off. Put your phone in a padded bag in the room next door uh, <laughs> so that it can't be going, bing, 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 watch me, pick me up, pick me up. And, and then you find something to draw and you sit down in front of it and you take your time and you dedicate your time and your attention 
to the thing that you are trying to draw and not to the latest tweet or the latest WhatsApp message. And, and that is how you get better at drawing. It's about observation and observation <laughs> means <laughs> you look at things. Now take these snowdrops for instance. Um, we, we went to a snowdrop garden this week and so this is the thing that kind of happens um, around the place. Uh, people have just planted thousands and thousands of snowdrops in a, in a beautiful garden and you can go and walk around them and think, oh, spring, it's not far away. Uh, but if you look a little bit closer, you realise that some of these um, snowdrops are a little different. And <laughs> some of them um, are, are, are tall and they're kind of big and round and blousy and some of them are kind of small and some of them on their um, internal petals so you generally have these three white wings on the outside and then you have these little internal petals which have this kind of green um, sort of heart pattern on the side and and so the one th th that I'm drawing at the moment, the one that I drew first rather, has got these um, wings that kind of curl back upwards and they're, they're kind of like little flies' wings and, and they look like little insects just buzzing about and sort of nodding about. The, the, when the wind catches them, they nod in, in the breeze and they look like little sort of white sort of insects floating about whereas the other one um up at the top which i'm sort of now drawing on this one then you can see and it's got uh, this big kind of ovary um behind it whereas the first one has got a tiny little sort of ovary uh, behind it um which makes it very different the first one as well has got sort of multiple petals on the inside uh, whereas this has just got the three on the inside um so six petals in all and the, the, this is quite big and blousy and I should think it stands about 10 a foot high something like that 30 centimeters high um, and, and a lot of snowdrops are quite small to the ground about six inches high or 15 centimeters and you get uh, all sorts of different shapes and sizes um, and they're all um, equally lovely and I'm just putting a little bit of sort of moisture <laughs> on the drawing here um, so you, you know but you have to look you have to observe to be able to see all these things and you have to get down uh, to it or you buy a plant and you bring it home and you sit down and you study it <laughs> or you know if it's a nice day you can sit outside and you can study the plants where they are and and, and you probably need to prepare for for something like that you, so you might need to take a little stool with you and make sure you've got your pads and paper and pens and everything with you um, and that takes attention as well and if you're constantly thinking about oh wait, wait, wait a minute you know before I go out I'll just do this um, I'll just do a text and I'll, I'll just do a, 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 an Instagram post of me drawing this you're not <laughs> paying attention to what it is that you're drawing and so you're going to find it really really difficult to get better at drawing ah <sighs> Like, I find it really difficult making videos and concentrating on <laughs> what it is, on the technical side. When uh, you can see, I'm watching myself on the screen now as I'm doing this as a voiceover, and I'm sort of watching myself drawing, thinking, and I'm, it's sending me off into a kind of a Zen state, just watching it. And I'm thinking, oh, I should have, oh, I should have done this, and maybe I should, oh, oh, that's not quite right. No, I should have done something different. So, <laughs> So I think um, I'm just going to do a little bit of editing now and, and sort of show you some of the uh, stages. So I did three of these things and then I record a little bit at the end of me painting. But what I really, really want to say is for those of you, if you're still watching at nine minutes and 19 seconds, well done. I mean, that's almost a world record for anybody on YouTube to watch anything that long. Uh, <laughs> keep watching keep watching i challenge you actually to stay right to the end and see if you can and if you can uh let me know in the comments box below because that's what it's all about isn't it so i'm going to cut this out now and i'm going to go to the painting bit at the end so this is all about attention isn't it i've been talking about attention and um the <laughs> being so inattentive i forgot to switch the microphone on or rather well i actually don't know i didn't forget to switch the microphone on i had this 
um, thing that helps me sort all this stuff out. And somehow one of the little buttons had changed from whatever it was, show the next scene to mute microphone. And that had been pressed um, by accident. Now, because these are white, um, uh, snowdrops, you might want to put like a background in there, uh, which is sort of what I'm doing now, which is very, very roughly. And this will just kind of hmm, add a bit of something to it. Um, and I really need more of a grey there, don't I? Because, um, because the plants are green themselves, the leaves are green, but they're going to be much greener. Um, let's do something like that. Let's call it like that. And then the actual um, the petals have these little bits of shade on them like that. Maybe a touch of blue I need in there, I think. Maybe a bit of blue like that. And this had a the pencil's already covering most of that kind of shading. This will just sort of add a little bit of interest. And then we need the greens. It's, they do, they are quite blue, bluey green um, snowdrops. And just flip that out there and this down into there. And then we've got this green in there as well and I think I need to make that those internal petals sort of fade back a little bit there we got that white pippy bit there and that big that big carpal ovary of course um, you know these are all things you learn <laughs> in biology when you're sort of 14 15 or something aren't they? Name the parts of the flower. Um, and, and yeah, I need a little bit more, a bit of blue to that, I think. So I need a bit more shade in there just to take that further back. Um, and in there too. Good. I'm going to use this for the thumbnail sketch and uh, there you go. Well, if you're still watching, congratulations. Oh goodness, no, I've had the microphone in the wrong place as well. All sorts of things going wrong today, microphone cable. Um, that's because I've been focusing on the drawing and not on all the camera work and stuff like that. So <laughs> there we are. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Uh, if you still are watching, that is, uh, thank you even more so uh, and well done. <laughs> for hanging on this long and make sure you are subscribed to the Shoe Rain of Drawing channel and keep coming back for lots more drawing videos every week in the meantime keep drawing 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 paying paying attention I'll see you next time you take care now bye bye